I'm starting to see a common theme in my DMs. A lot of people have been asking the exact same question lately. And I've realized I haven't really made a video with this specific title before. So I decided why not address that in a brand new video so whenever somebody asks about this specific topic, I can just send them the link to this video and it'll answer all their questions. So that's exactly what this video is for. You saw the title, so you know exactly what this video is. How to get waves with short hair. Oh yeah, so stick around. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what is up? It's your host with the most entertaining people like you from coast to coast. Wait, man, Mike, and we're back for another video. Like I said in the intro, I'm gonna be teaching you how to get waves with short hair. Honestly, the process is pretty much the exact same of how to get waves with long hair, but it's just a little bit tweaked because getting waves with short hair actually is harder, believe it or not. And there is a real reason for that. All right, so first up, we need to know just how short is your hair? Is your hair that short? Like this right here. Is your hair this short? Because if your hair is that short, all I can tell you is it's probably a little too short to get waves. In fact, before I took this picture, I had waves. And when I took this picture and cut my hair to this height, the waves were gone. So yes, there is a limit of how short your hair can be before you can get waves. Your hair needs to be long enough to curl because if you didn't know already, waves are just curls that are stretched out and laid down on your head. So if your hair isn't long enough to curl up, then it isn't long enough to get waves. It is just that simple. So you need to find out your hair type, which is your curl pattern. If you don't know that already, there are plenty. And when I say plenty, there are plenty of charts out there that you can look at. You can go to Google Images, search up the different hair types, the different curl patterns, and it'll show you a picture of what each of those patterns look like. You could have um, kinky hair, you could have curly hair, you could have what's called wavy hair, all these different hair types. The smaller your curl pattern, the shorter your hair can be to get waves. The wider your curl pattern, the longer you have to grow out your hair before you're able to get waves. So just like I said before, your hair can be short, but not too short. So how do we do it? If our hair just so happens not to be too short, it's short, but not too short, then how do we do it? All right, so first, you already know what I'm gonna say. You're gonna need a brush. You can get a brush from anywhere. You can go to Walmart, you can go to Target, you can go to Amazon, you can go to the dollar store, but I recommend going to smoothstyles.com. And you wanna know why I recommend that? Because they have high quality brushes that you can get at an affordable price and when you use my discount code WAVEMAN, you get a discount on top of that affordable price. Absolutely amazing. So why would you wanna miss that opportunity? Exactly, you don't. So go to smoothstyles.com, get a brush using my discount code WAVEMAN. As far as products, you can get what you want because it's really gonna depend on you as a personal individual. Some products work for some people, some products work for other people. Odds are they're all probably gonna work, but some may work better than other ones. I'll leave some links down below to products you can check out. There's moisturizers, there's oils, there's butters, there's pomades, there's all this stuff that you can get to help you with your wave making process. So like I said before, I'm gonna go ahead and leave those links down below. And last up, you're gonna need a do-rag. Now, some people are out there wondering, can I use a wave cap? And the answer is yes. You can use a do-rag or you can use a wave cap. It's not that deep where you have to be super specific, super particular. There's pros and cons to both of them though. Me, I like wearing do-rags. I like the material on the inside a lot better. And I like that you can control the amount of pressure that you put on your head. Whereas with the wave cap, you can make it tighter, but you can't make it looser. So you get what you get. And me, I get headaches pretty easily. So having a super tight wave cap on every single day is not gonna work for me. Maybe two or three days out of the week, but not just every day. Just like the products, you can get a do-rag from pretty much everywhere. Amazon, Walmart, Target, CVS, I don't recommend you getting the ones from the dollar store though. Those are made out of really bad materials and they'll probably end up making your hair feel worse than it even did before you even used it. Your hair's texture, I'm laughing because I, I just recorded that 
and I messed up. But anyway, your hair's texture is a direct reflection of the things you put in contact with it. So if you put something that feels like cotton on your hair, then your hair is gonna feel like cotton when you take it off. If you put something super silky on your hair, your hair is gonna feel super silky when you take it off. Yes, sir. So just watch the materials you put on your head. It's really that simple. You're probably also wondering about those products. How do you apply them? Listen, when you have the products in your hands, you know the way that you brush your hair, right? Rub them in your hair the exact same way that you would brush your hair. So if you brush your hair like this with the brush and rub the products in like this with your hand, all sides do the same exact thing. Listen, getting waves with short hair is definitely gonna be harder than getting waves with, you know, your hair already at your curl length. Well, no, you're gonna have to have your hair at your curl length anyway, but you know what I mean, like longer. If you're trying to get waves with your hair being below your curl length, the simple answer is you just can't. Unless you're like some type of special case, then you can't. Sorry to tell you, these are just the facts. Or maybe it's not a fact. Maybe you might be different, but probably not. So just stick to what is guaranteed versus something you're just doing the experiment with and you're gonna end up wasting your time, you know what I mean? So grow your hair out to the curl length, which can still be pretty low. Brush it every single day and put those products in maybe twice, maybe three times per week. Keep brushing, stay dedicated, because the more you brush, the longer you brush, the better your waves will be. And the faster your waves will come in. And wear your do-rag anytime you finish brushing your hair and anytime you're going to sleep. This is gonna prevent your hair from getting messed up because definitely at those short limbs, if your hair gets messed up, it's just gonna go right back to its original way that it's supposed to, like the original way that it grows out of your head. Does that make sense? Like your hair has a certain way that it grows out of your head, right? If your hair is short, it's more likely to just lay right back down in that way than do something that you just tried to train it to do that it's not even used to doing yet. Some people are gonna understand this, some people are gonna be lost. So if you're lost, then go drop some comments down below, ask some questions, and I'll try to answer them. And if I don't get to your question, to answer it, then maybe somebody else will answer your question for you. So I hope this video was helpful for everyone who wants to know how to get waves with short hair. If it was helpful, then just go press the like button. That will be really helpful for me. And if it wasn't helpful, then make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because you'll be guaranteed to find a video that will be helpful in the future. What I lied to you, I can help you get waves. If anybody can help you, Wave Man can help you. Look at this. I didn't get this from not knowing what I'm talking about. Just just look, look, look. Do it look like I don't know what I'm talking about? I, th I think, I think I would know what I'm talking about. Hold up, let you see the back. My brush just fell. But yeah, like I said before, go press that like button if you haven't already. Go subscribe. And once you've done that, the video's over. If they ask you who I am, I'm Wave Man Mike, so subscribe, drop a comment. And don't forget to like. Enjoy your day.